Hello everybody, welcome back to the Vagabond series in Liz World. 7.9 billion people in the world. But the streets are empty of one. They're not gone. They're changed. Where do I go? Don't stop. Never stop. I keep getting all these different worlds, different names, so everybody can kind of try and keep track of what's going on in each world because uh, there's a lot of playthroughs going on on the channel lately if you haven't noticed. Uh, let's see, what is our goal here today? We have to leave on day 15. This week we should be hitting up any POIs that the loot might be advantageous for the next leg of the journey so we definitely need to get on that as quickly as possible. Uh, first things first. I think I have all of this stuff. Yeah, all of the stuff to finally make that work much. Awesome, so that's going to take about three minutes. What else could we possibly be working on? How's about some boots? How about we go ahead and eat? Uh, two minutes. Still waiting on that, and I kind of... I don't necessarily want to focus on missions, because we're probably not going to be around Bob very much longer. I wanted to work on missions, but honestly, there's a lot of stuff here that we probably are going to need in the next leg of the journey. Like at some point, oh my gosh, I just hit my mouse. I do apologize, guys. I'm getting situated. Ooh, okay. The next leg of the journey after this horde night is going to be getting to the next town and setting up. So we should spend the rest of this week hitting any POIs that we haven't hit that we definitely want to hit. We should be trying to maximize how much we're getting from the trader as far as the sales that we get. Because after we leave him, chances are we're not going to be back to this trader. We're just going to stick with the other traders further on. Um, so what should we focus on? There's got to be some other like buildings and stuff like that that we definitely want to get. Okay, I got a da -da -da -drop dropped. I've already gotten that. It's fine. Um... I feel like there's a couple of over there that I want to get. Could you please hurry up? Come on! Hurry up and craft so I can go! Um, I still don't have a jacket for this character, so I haven't put it in the final pocket yet. Uh, what have we done this week? We've got a couple of farming plots. We've got two of the workbenches that we need. What about a cement mixer? What does it take for the cement mixer? Forged iron, we need 25. Go ahead and do that. Uh, that way, whenever we go to leave, we can pick up our workbenches and take them with us instead of having to worry about carrying all of the stuff for it. Should also focus on what kind of food we're gonna take. The cans would be the easiest, especially if we get a particularly large stack. These two large stacks would be good. Um, and these big meals would be good. And maybe the bold water would actually not be a good idea. Now that I think about it, if we take these individual things of bold water, it's gonna be a lot less than going ahead and taking the murky water with the jars. Because we can boil it when we get there, you know? Okay, come on. There we go. And the workbench right there. Okay, now we can actually make ammo with what we've got. I do not have bullet casings. Um, and I haven't been keeping brass, but what we can do now is buy the bullet tips and everything else from the trader. So that is helpful. Do I have any... Uh, I've got only got 27 of those. I don't think it'd be worth it for me to do that. But uh, that part's done, and it's working on the iron for everything else. Uh, let's go run and look at the trader. I noticed during editing I had missed ammo right before Horde, and I am very, very upset with myself. Uh, so <laughs> uh, some sugar butts for later on would be a good idea. We're not taking cans of stock with us, so I'm not going to buy it. Um, hey, dude. Hey, I see your inventory. Let me get your gunpowder. I really want to get that motorcycle. If I can get a, mo a vehicle that's got a bigger caboose, so to speak, 
uh, more room in it, I can take more stuff with me to the next town. I just don't see that being within the amount of money I can use. A 4x4 would be great too, because that's got more storage. Too bad you can't lock in certain things that you definitely want to get so the trader won't eventually get rid of it, you know? Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in this list of stuff and things that I want to get. Uh, 10 seconds after killing, it downgrades by one level. Gain 5% damage with each kill up to 15%. That actually sounds good. Um, Okie dokie, we have looked over there. I found uh, <laughs> some gunpowder. That was it. Um, We need bullet tips. And I got rid of all of that because I was expecting to not have time to worry about... Okay, let me try and break this down. The crafting time it would take for me to make ammo between melting down the brass, crafting it all up, and then turning it into ammo may not be within my abilities as a vagabond character. I can't move around that much but smelt down all of the stuff and things. You know what I'm saying? So we really have to be on the lookout for all of that. Do I have bullet... I have a few bullet tips over here, so... Do I have... I've got a couple of casings, and I just bought this gunpowder. I can make 22. So, even though it's not very much ammo, it's ammo I didn't have before, and it, you know, it does help. It does do the thing. Okay, uh, this time, not so much what he is offering, it's let's go around to this town and find out if there's any POIs we're going to miss out on seeing whenever we leave. What else could we possibly use as a character before moving on to the next town? Um, I would love to take a look at some of these places I've never been before. Like this one right here, I kind of really want to look at this, this one. Um, Maggie's Corner Cafe. I think I popped my head in here, but I didn't actually do anything in here. So let's take a peek, even though this is probably not going to be one that's going to give me a whole lot of ammo for the move or anything else like that. I'm very curious. And apparently they are hungry. Come on out here, guys. There are so much squishy sounds going on. <laughs> you just walk straight over him. There we go. There you go. Who else is... Ladies, I don't know what the hell you guys are doing behind there. Stop it. Karen is so pissed off the cash register. She doesn't understand. That's not how it works. That cash register did not do anything to you. Stand up. I dare you. Thought so. Oh, is this a jukebox? It looks like one. Like a little record player type of thing? That's cool. Hey, now that's some decent food right there. That's I'm gonna switch. I'll take this. Let me check this. And what is this switch for? Oh. Okay, so we've got two different ways to go up there. This way, which might actually lead into a trap, or this way. Oh no, this one's broken. Never mind. This ladder is broken. You can't use it. Face. Don't do the thing. So that was just another way out of the building. Hello, dude. Ha ha ha. No, no, no. I don't want to get stuck over there. I do not want to get infected again. So far, I've managed to not get another infection. The poll is still going on down the comments about how long it's going to be before I get infected again. Since I spent most of the beginning part of the game infected. Uh, okay, what's this? This must be part of turning the generator on type of challenge. Okay. Ooh, I see that. 
So how does one get to that, though? That's broke. Am I supposed to bust through there? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Because this one right here gives you an eye eyeful into that area, but that's bulletproof glass. This is regular glass. Seems like a trap here. Let me make lots of noise. Uh, and I used the wrench that was carrying on me to make the workbench, and I didn't pick up the other one. There we go. Alright, come on everybody. Make sure we don't have anything back here. Jeez. No, sir. No, no sir. What are you guys doing? Fluffy, are you doing your dance again? <laughs> Alright. I completely missed you, dude. Hang on. Back to the side. Hey, come out of there. I know y'all are wrecking things. I do not want it to be one of the things I'm after. Over here, thick. Damn. Ooh, a couple of healing things. Not bad. We definitely needed that. Good heavens. Up to your boots, please. Thank you. Yes. Now, if you guys could give me one of those jackets, I would be forever in your debt. I don't think I'm gonna get one of here. Ooh. Can I put you in there? Oh, why are you doing that? The flaming shaft mod should so definitely go on there, but apparently it doesn't. Uh, okay. Hey. Ooh, nice chair. A lot of tape. What else do we have here? I always wanted to get a lot of plastic. This would be a really good POI to go to. Don't do that. Hey, I got another wrench. Nice, because I actually needed one of those. Oops. There we go. Got ourselves a random assortment of stuff and things. I'm a bit over encumbered now, though. Go ahead and read that. Uh, I don't think I need those. Don't think I need the paper, even though that's that also goes into shotgun ammo. So maybe I should hold onto that. Um, this goes into the junkyard. Okay. Let's take a peek out here first. Nothing. Do I have broken glass in my inventory? Let me go ahead and eat that and get that out of there. Um, I might need sand for making stuff. Obviously. Hang on. My words will happen. Give me a second. Uh, cement. Uh, since I am making a cement mixer, I guess I'll hold on to it. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. Why is that a different level? <laughs> okay, I found where they were storing their trash. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I will take... Ow! Not having dogs on my booty. 
Infected. Day eight, whoever was on day eight, you guys won. Just so you know. Do I want to get the murky stuff? Uh, I'll, I'll take the bones though. Dang, damn it. I'm not sure why I was not expecting dogs out there in the junkyard. That just seems very obvious. I should have definitely expected it. Oh, I also need the animal. Well, no, I don't. Oh, I don't need the animal fat. Not gonna have the big garden that I had before. Okay. Okay, so there are dogs here. Good to know. I was actually looking to see if this is where I was supposed to have come down at, but I don't... I don't think so. Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff I don't have room for. Maybe. Because if I fix it, I might get a whole lot of money for it either way. Ooh, a tier 5? That's a good thing, right? Sure, I'll get that out of my inventory as well for right now. Because a flaming shovel is what we absolutely need to have. Right, now I'll take that back. Uh, alrighty. Um, I think we're good to go ahead and go. We got a couple of things and stuff. Got an infection because, you know, I guess that's the reason we were here. But thankfully I had that freaking machine gun and I was able to do something about the doggos. But still kind of hurt. Mostly my feelings, but it's it's chill. Oh, 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 is that ammo done? Yeah, let's go ahead and refill that, because that actually saved my entire existence right there. Okay, there's a Crumpy Pubs over here. I'm kind of hitting up all of the places that'll probably have food for later on, so I don't have to worry about it later, you know what I'm saying? Okay, where does one get in here at? Not to mention, I have not seen these buildings before. That is cool. Those booths look awesome. Yes. Did you have to break that? Whoa, feral! Ooh, lady? But why? Just out of curiosity, but why? Why were you a feral? Oh! Excuse me! Just don't come barreling out of there, please. Okie dokie. Um... Those have got like an upper level thing that's also over here. Alright, anything else? I mean, there's that whole area. How does one get into that area? How, how is one supposed to get into that area, you know? Ah. Why are you just randomly breaking things? Dog? Yep, not, not taking any chances with that. And you are also a runner. I'm getting like two frames a second. Could you stop for a second, please? Why am I getting so many runners, though? Okay. Dude, you're supposed to be dead. Stay dead. Okay. 
Okay, okay. No, Karen, Karen, stop. Dude, you come back over here. Stop banging on that. Come on over here. There you go. I'm confused. How was I actually supposed to get out here? Was I supposed to... Oh, there's a ladder coming from the roof. How did I not see that? Look at all the loots, though, dude. I'll take that. Okay, uh, some more 762 and a map. We'll go ahead and read that. Not that far away from base. Oh, but the treasure map is a long way away from home. Oh, so maybe they fixed it to where you have to go a long way away for treasure maps, but you don't have to go as far away for missions. Cool. Go around. The freaking open door right here, sir. It was open this entire time and you were over there beating on the wall. Dingus. I can almost bet you. I, I've been sitting here, you know, completely ignoring it, but um, I bet you there's somebody already in the comment section saying you have 60 health, could you please, for the love of God, use some kind of healing item. Got a valid point. You know, I was expecting to find a dog somewhere else in here. I was not expecting the roof to almost kill me. I'll be honest with you. That was that was not one that I was suspecting, actually. Right when I was talking about not wanting to heal because I wasn't going to use up my stuff, but I'm at 30 hit points because of a cave-in. Hmm. I guess you just never know where death is coming from. Okie dokie, this area is clear. I was just kind of curious about this one. At least now I know how I'm supposed to go. Huh. But there's really no way of opening this door. It's just there, apparently. Interesting. Uh, what kind of leggings am I wearing? Tier 3? Yeah, okay, I'll just swap out for some tier 6, yeah? Uh, can I repair these with just cloth? I think so. I get them out of the box and put some edible food in the box. Is a good combo, in my opinion. Um... You know, I probably should define where I'm sticking parts at because I kind of have them mixed up right now. They're definitely a craftable, so... And I've got two wrenches again. I'll stick that one back. And I need something to drink. There we go. Now we have a cement mixer as well. So next horde will actually be to do a bit more upgrading. Which is pretty sweet. Um... I'm sitting here looking at my resources. I could... Mm, how do I do this, though? I should definitely go hunting again. Maybe I should do the evening hunt. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see if I can find a, a deer or a bunny or something. There's a whole bunch of animals all around town before, and now it's like, uh, I don't think we're going to find them in town anymore. Frank, have you seen any animals? Have y'all been eating all of the animals, sir? Okay, apparently we're just not going to find them in town anymore, which is weird because when we first started, there were animals running everywhere. And then it's like they either get killed or despawn, and new ones don't get spawned in as often, you know? I just stand right here for like a second. We're not that far away. I just want to see if the problem is, is I'm not sitting in one spot long enough for it to spawn things in, you know? I don't see any... Uh, there we go. I don't see any animals. Oh, 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 oh. God 
got it. Whew, like one chicken in the whole town, man. Look at the sun shafts and everything. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay, we can make two. Not bad. Not bad at all. I am okay with this. Okay, now, uh, do I spend the evening time chopping down all of those trees? Because we're going to need them for the move. I can make a leather poncho. I'm pretty sure I can put that pocket into a leather poncho, can't I? Maybe? I actually don't know if I can put that into a leather poncho. But it takes like 20 leather. I don't have 20 leather. I can go get some more leather really quick. Right next door. Let me down the hole! Uh, run! Uh, take your bike. Uh-oh. <laughs> they found me. Okay, going home. I think I managed to grab enough leather in time. Uh, speaking of which, I don't have anything slowing the zombies down from just running straight in here. I probably should put a hatch in. I haven't done that yet. I got two bucks. Okay, so can I make a... I need one more. Let's see if I can put a pocket in there. I have no idea if I can put a pocket in there, but it'd be nice to get that pocket, you know? Ah, there we go. And where? Ness. Oh, there he is. There, I'll just let him through. All right, we are going to sit up here. We're going to be trying to try and be extra quiet because I've already attracted a lot of attention trying to make the poncho. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. You have a wonderful day, wonderful night, and you stay shiny. Bye!